myself akshay kumar subhade assistant professor mechanical engineering department today we will study governors learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to understand the working of centrifugal governor and the terminology of governor function of a governor function of the governor is to regulate the speed of the engine under varying load condition for example when the load on the engine increases its speed decreases and therefore it becomes essential to supply more working fluid to the engine on other hand when the load on the engine decreases the speed of the engine increases and therefore it become essential to decrease the supply of working fluid hence governor automatically controls the supply of working fluid to the engine under varying load condition and keep the mean speed within the certain limit or in other words we can say when the load on the engine increases the configuration of the governor changes and valve is moved to increase the supply of working fluid similarly when the load decreases the speed increases and governor decreases the supply of working fluid to the engine now we will study the working principle of centrifugal governor centrifugal governor based on the balancing of centrifugal forces acting on the rotating masses by an equal and opposite inward radial force which is known as controlling force so centrifugal governor consist of two balls which are of same masses known as fly balls or governor balls these two balls are attached to the arms of the governor and the arms of the governor are pivoted on the axis of the spindle so that the when the spindle rotates the arm and ball will also rotate about the vertical axis of the spindle the spindle of the governor is driven by the engine through the bevel gear the arms are connected to the sleeve by the links this sleeve also rotates about the spindle as well as it slides along the spindle so when the speed of the engine increases the sleeve will slide in the upward direction and when the speed decreases the sleeve will move in the downward direction so in order to limit the travel of the sleeve the two stoppers ss are provided on the spindle now as the speed of the engine increases the arms of the governor moves in the outward direction and when the speed decreases the arms of the governor will move in the inward direction a sleeve is connected by a bell crank lever where one end of the bell crank lever is connected to the sleeve and other end of the bell crank lever carries a throttle wall now when the speed increases the sleeve will slide upward and when the speed decreases the sleeve will fall down now consider an example when the speed of the engine increases the centrifugal force acting on the ball which is given by fc is equal to mr omega square centrifugal force acting on this ball increases as a result of this the arms will move in the outward direction which causes the sleeve 
to move in the upward direction and hence at the other end of the bell crank lever the throttle wall is operated and the supply of the working fluid to the engine is decreased and hence the speed will decrease similarly when the load on the engine increases the speed of engine and governor decreases at that time the centrifugal force acting on this ball also decreases which results in the inward movement of the arm due to decrease in the centrifugal force acting on the ball which causes the sleeve to move in the downward direction as a result of this the throttle wall which is connected to the other end of the bell crank lever gets opened and the supply of working fluid to the engine increases and hence the sleeve will move in the upward direction as the speed increases hence the centrifugal governor works on the principle of centrifugal forces acting on the fly balls now think for a while in case of centrifugal governor which is the parameter used in order to control the action of the centrifugal governor in case of centrifugal governor the action of the governor is controlled by the gravity action also when the balls are rotating at uniform speed then controlling force is balanced with centrifugal force acting on the balls this is the working principle of centrifugal governor now we will see the various terms which are used in governor the first is the height of governor so this figure shows a simple type of watt governor where the height of governor is defined as it is the vertical distance from the center of the fly ball to the point where the axis of the arms intersect on the spindle that is known as height of the governor and it is represented by h second equilibrium speed equilibrium speed of the governor is defined as it is the speed at which the arms balls are in complete equilibrium and sleeve does not tend to move in either way that is called as equilibrium speed and it is represented by letter n third sleeve lift sleeve lift is defined as it is the vertical distance traveled by the sleeve due to percentage change in the equilibrium speed that is known as sleeve lift and it is represented by letter x the next term is maximum and minimum equilibrium speed maximum and minimum equilibrium speed of the governor is defined as it is the speed at maximum and minimum radius of rotation of fly balls in which the sleeve does not tend to move in either way is known as maximum and minimum equilibrium speed and next term is mean equilibrium speed mean equilibrium speed is defined as it is the speed at which the arms and balls are at mean position 
that is known as mean equilibrium speed of the governor. The references used in this particular session that is from the book of theory of machine by R.S. Khurmi. Thank you.